me guys if all has if all has gone to plan then this video has come up fairly recently after my last one which will hopefully be a book haul otherwise everything I said in the introduction to that video will make no sense so yeah, I'm kind of starting this channel basically to talk about books and like their film adaptations and kind of book and film stuff that tie into each other as well as kind of separately. Um, I've really got to learn to not say that at the beginning of every video because I'm pretty sure if people actually start to watch this you're going to get the point. I will stop eventually, who knows, May maybe, never, I don't know. This video, however, I'm not going to be showing you any physical books. This is going to be more of a film related video um, and just kind of fun and so I can show them all off. I, like many booktubers and film fans and comic fans, have become a Funko Pop collector. I'm saying collector because I'm slowly working to be a collector. What The ones I have, it's not really a big collection. Um, I did have more, but I actually sold quite a few because I realised there was loads I was buying just for the sheer hell of it. Uh, so I kept the ones that are most meaningful to me that are from films that I've taken through my whole life from my absolute favourites or had a real effect on me. Um, and I have brought more since I decided that was my reason for buying Funko Pops. So I'm just going to get into it and I'm just going to show you and tell you what film they're from. Um, yay. The first one I'm going to show you is definitely from one of my favourite films ever. I found it as a kid and I've just loved it and I, I think every person I've ever met loved it. And I have John Bender from The Breakfast Club. Look how cool he is. Now the thing is I have no like screen or anything behind my camera. Um, I haven't been clever and set up a mirror so I may try and show you like the Funko Pops and my camera may go out of focus. But yeah, I'm John Bender, who was played by Judd Nelson. The Breakfast Cup came out in 1985 and was filmed by John Hughes and is an emotional teenage roller coaster. But lucky for me, I got this in a kind of subscription box um, and I didn't know it was coming and John Bender has always been my favourite character. So I almost teared up a little bit when I finally got him because he wasn't my first Funko Pop either. So I do eventually need to get the rest of them though, which is like more money. Next. I just said that John Bender wasn't my first Funko Pop, so I'm going to show you my first Funko Pop ever. And it was actually given to me as a gift, so it's their fault that I now collect Funko Pops because I tried to stay away from them and then I was bought one and that was it. I thought, hey, I've been given a key and like, I've been given a free pass to buy all the Funko Pops in the world. I have The Crow from The Crow. This awesome little dude. When I was younger, I thought The Crow was a horror film. I had only seen the front cover and it just looked like a horror film and it is quite violent but it's proper like 90s grunge and easily one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. Um, the Crow was played by Brandon Lee who is one of my favourite films of all time but I've gone completely blank as to what the character's name was. Shit. But yeah, The Crow. Next, this one's actually from a TV show and this is the only TV show, TV show? Sure. TV show Funko Pop that I have. Again, it was bought for me as a Christmas present by someone who hates the idea of paying money for Funko Pops. So I laughed hysterically when I realised she'd given the company money. However, it worked totally in my favour because I got Rolo. I have Rolo from Vikings. Vikings is one of my favourite TV shows ever. It's like part fact and then part drama and the battle scenes are intense and I know the more seasons that come out the more it's becoming like having a bigger fandom but Rolo is Ragnar Lothbrok's brother, the kind of jealous brother and when I first started watching Vikings Rolo was one of my favourite characters ever till I got into Floki because like good stuff and I absolutely I was super happy when I got this and when I looked up the other Vikings Funko Pops it turns out it was like a limited edition run so aside from Rolo and the Seer, um, the other three main characters, which are Lagatha, Ragnar and Floki, um, range from like 200 to like 700 pounds, which is a lot to pay for a Funko Pop, even for me. The next Funko Pop I have is from one of my most fun and favourite sci-fi films of all time, and that is Lilu from The Fifth Element. It was a Luke Besson film and it's one of the craziest wacky sci-fi films you will ever see 
It's completely ridiculous, but like brilliant and like Gary Oldman's in it. Next, I have both Edith Cushing and Thomas Sharp from Crimson Peak. I did a video up where I talked about art of film books I had and Crimson Peak was one of them. Guillermo, Tiro, Guillermo del Toro is a visual genius and I just love watching Crimson Peak, like even if the story was shy, it's just beautiful. Uh, Edith here is probably the most expensive Funko Pop I've ever purchased because this specific one of her with the blood on her dress, well the like uh, clay on her dress and the bloody knife was a like San Diego Comic Con exclusive so I brought it from America from someone who obviously knew a fan would pay a lot for it. I'm not going to say how in case my friend watches this video. Uh, but yeah this is one of the Funko Pops I purchased most recently as soon as I saw the film Valerian which was done by Luke Besson who did the fifth element. Um, as soon as I as soon as I saw it, I went out and brought Valerian. I need Loreline so that I have Valerian and Loreline because that's what the film is about. I haven't taken taken him out yet because I'm actually moving soon, so I don't want to take him out until I have like a Funko Pop shelf or some some majestic stuff like that. And the definitely most recent one I brought this like two days ago. Can't, like, it's a bad idea for me to have got one because there's so many of them in the collection that now I just have so much money to spend. But I have Sirius Black from obviously Harry Potter. My favourite Harry Potter has always been the Prisoner of Azkaban book and film and Sirius is one of my favourite characters kind of tied with Remus Lupin. Um, so I will eventually have Remus Lupin um, but I now have Sirius Black which is like super cool. I geeked out so hard when I bought this. So yeah, these were my Funko Pop collections and I was trying to like hold them like a bouquet of flowers but I so thank you for watching. So thank you guys for watching this quick excuse for a video. Um, I want to know what Funko Pops you guys have, in case you have any that I maybe have not heard of or need to purchase like right away. But yeah, and what's your favorite Funko? Mine are like all of them. My favorite one is like the one I buy in those like ten minutes, and then afterwards it's like all of them and how adorable they are and don't touch them and. I have this, do you guys have this argument with yourself about keeping them in the box and taking them out of the box? Because I do. As I say at the end of these videos, I am terrible at ending videos. It just gets super awkward and I don't know how whether to end it like a TV show presenter or of like your best friend. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to ramble and just say bye.